And his team, the team of Sevilla, saves Barbosa right here. But now, Paulsen had enough. And he scored the goal. 74th minute, Barbosa in your face, mate. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Clis Crystal? Crystal Palace career mode. Nice start right there. Good job, Johnny. You can see me going through the squad report. You guys have voted on which player is your favorite one in the team, and Yusuf Palzin was coming up in first place, and there was some really interesting things in the comments down below as well. A lot of you said that I forgot to put Speroni into the poll because he's your favorite player of Crystal Crystal Palace obviously and that is something I really have forgotten about. Speroni is a legend and you guys really do appreciate him and I'm really happy to see that. And our first game today would be against Derby County and this game was a really important one because we needed the win in order to keep our run for the Champions League going and Ledesma will get to the penalty but sadly our defense isn't following through and that is a goal for Derby County, a goal which Ledesma didn't really deserve of conceding but Zaha joining into the game together with Z uh, Zaha, Zaha joining in with Zaha, yes. Good commentary today man, really good but I'm, I'm just gonna stick with it. Williams with the first chance for Crystal Palace in the 59th minute. Wow. Good stuff right there. And we are giving up a few chances to Derby County right here once again. They are on the attack and Ledesma luckily able to get to it. And I'm sure he will be a viable option for the next season. But we do also get a penalty of our own. Nathan Redmond joined into the game and Dwight Gale is looking like a predator. I think he was in the top three of your favorite players and Dwight Gale able to score right here. 76th minute. We are back into this game. Now Hunt on the ball passing it over to Zaha I believe who is now passing it to Nathan Redmond. He could score this one but that is a big chance gone. Still we are on the ball. Keith with the pass over to Bolasi and what a save from the goalkeeper. 90th minute. We are still pushing for the win. Bolasi on the ball now passing it over into the middle. Ozan Tufan to Zaha and Zaha will score it in the last split second of the game. 2-1 for Crystal Palace and what an important win this is guys. Really, we needed this one. Three points against Derby County in a game which we shouldn't have struggled as much as we did. But right now I'm already concentrating on the future and Zana Ale. I know that this guy isn't so high rated and he seems to be glitched and he has the potential to be special I think and he has gotten to an 80 rating already. Dele Gonzo from PSG, 21 years old, right midfielder, 74 rated already and he looked like a really good player. So I was starting to scout a few players that I would love to see joining our team in the next season maybe. Right here you can see Williams and Berahino scoring against Blackburn, the team that is at the bottom of the league so that game was simulated because I now needed to play against Chelsea. They are starting with this lineup right here. Courtois in goal obviously. Higuain, Marco Marin, Atsu. What is going on? They are not really taking this one seriously. Marin and Atsu playing in a semi-final. I would suggest not to underestimate Crystal Palace, Mourinho, right here you can see us starting off with the first attack but now it's Marin with the pass to Villian, Marin will get it back once again and his shot will go past the right post right there and now Redmond trying to get into the penalty and crosses it over to Paulsen who then gets fouled from John Terry and that will be a penalty which will be taken by Wilfried Zaha the newly on top form guy he is really doing so well at this point and I'm really getting used to his skills and what he can do on the pitch and maybe he will be a long term player for this club because he's also improving a lot better than a lot of other players for example Bolasi or El Yunusi and Zaha at this point is like 78 rated but enough about Zaha take a look at this pass Dwight Gale will score this one as well 2-0 in the semi-final of the FA Cup what a nice way to score right there a perfect pass and Chelsea really underestimating the skills of Crystal Palace in my opinion this lineup isn't good enough 
for a game in the semi-final, but they will have a chance as well right here with Higuain hitting the post and Chelsea now trying very hard to score a goal. Andre Schürrle with the chance, but that will get cleared by the defender. I think it was Nguma getting to that ball right there and Jonathan Williams will join into the game for Ozan Tufan. 79th minute that was 80th minute Paul's in getting past the defender with the strength and then he will get another penalty against John Terry Paul's in for the second time gets a penalty and it will be Zaha taking it once again and he will score the goal 3-0 against Chelsea the league leaders I cannot believe that with this lineup they are leading the league. I'm sure there are a lot of players who are on the bench or on the reserves who are not playing because with this team, I am really 100% sure that they won't be able to win the BPL with a lineup like that. So I'm really sure that they have not been playing a lot of players who they should have played in the semi-final. And that just shows you, you have to take every single game seriously. And talking about Zaha earlier, he is now a 79 rated player, 23 years old. And I'm so happy to see him grow dribbling plus five that is the thing that I wasn't happy with Zaha always felt a little bit lanky but we are now concentrating on the game against Valencia we are in the semi-finals of the Europa League and this game is so important they have some insane players in their team Alcacer, Rodrigo, Perez and oh my god this team has so much striking force but Ozan Tufan tries his luck from long range at first and I just wanted to show the goalkeeper hey you should be taking care of my long shots. But right here, it is Rodrigo passing it to Paco, who then shoots it right onto Speroni. Luckily for us, 24th minute, another chance coming up for Valencia. Danny now with the pass over to Paco Alcacer. He will get past my defenders way too easily, and he scores the goal. Could this be the end or the start of the end for us? in the Europa League. 66th minute, Paulsen now on the ball with try his best to get a shot on target. He does so, but that one wasn't good enough. And because of that, we are making some changes. Dwight Gale and Bolasi joining into the game in order to score a goal and Williams joining in as well. And now it's Williams with a pass over to Adnan. Adnan to Zaha. Zaha is through. Could he score? No, it was his weak foot and he wasn't able to score that one. And guys, we are now in the 90th minute. Paulsen is not getting through. That's it. 90th minute. We have lost in the Europa League in the first leg of the semi-finals. I couldn't believe the fact that we lost against Valencia, but it was an away game and we were not able to score a goal. A goal would have been so important against Valencia, but sadly we were not able to do so. Paulsen and Masuaku scoring against Burnley right there. But our position in the BPL is pretty much secured, I would like to say. But Bjorn Engels is back into the team once again. He has been injured for a couple of weeks, but he's back and he will be ready for the game against Valencia. In the next episode, you guys will see us battle out the fight in the BPL for the Champions League spot. You can see Manchester City right below us and Manchester United as well, Liverpool as well. Everyone could get into the Champions League. And also in the next episode, we will have the second leg of the match against Valencia. Hopefully we will get through and get to the final of the Europa League. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash the like button and have a nice day. Peace.